All right, so before we get into the video, I just want to show you guys something real quick. 96% of you guys are not subscribed, and that is no bueno. If you do see this video and you keep seeing me in your recommendations, you know, like the featured or whatever, make sure you hit that subscribe button because it only takes two seconds and it does help motivate me to make more videos for you guys because I truly do like making videos. But let's get into the video. This is the NFL Mock Draft 2.0 for just the first round of every single NFL team. Um, if you have not seen my other video, I would go check that out real quick and then come back to this video. Um, and I also did a Packers Round 1-7 through 7 Mock Draft 2.0 on my channel a couple days ago. If you have not seen that, also go see that before I get into this video. But I do like doing the Mock Drafts, even though my player knowledge, just like I say every single video, is not that high. Um, when it comes to college players but i still like doing it because you guys do like it and um i will say that this video will not be pertaining uh trades um i do think trades will happen but you know i think we're just gonna go down the standard form you know just not get too complicated but if you guys do want to see a video involving trades definitely let me know and i will do one but let's get into it. So to start things off, we're using Pro Football Focus, this uh, website I have been using the last couple of my mock drafts. And um, you can see on the left side of your screen, you know, 1 through 32, you know, starting off with the Bears, Washington Commanders, and Patriots, and so on. Um, we all know the Bears are going to be drafting a quarterback since they drafted Justin Fields. And I'm 99% sure it's going to be Caleb Williams. So he is going to Chicago. So when it comes to the Washington Commanders, you know, they got a couple options in quarterback like Drake May and Jaden Daniels. Um, they're 100% going to be drafting a quarterback. But when it comes to either which one is literally 50-50. And I do think that the Commanders are going to draft Drake May. So from Drake May from North Carolina, going to Washington. And now just like that, you know, most of these quarterbacks are already going off the draft. You know, you see in many mock drafts. And I do think that the Patriots will draft one. So Jaden Daniels is going to New England. Now when it comes with the Cardinals pick, I do think in real life they will probably make this trade. But I, you know, like I said, this video will not be pertaining trades. Um, if I had to go with the Cardinals, I think they will draft the wide receiver, even though the wide receivers are not too bad, per se. Um, they didn't help, for sure, but it's not their number one need. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. makes the most sense for the Arizona Cardinals. And now with the Chargers, you know, they lost a couple wide receivers, Mike Williams and Keenan Allen. So I'm very positive they're going to be drafting somebody on the offensive side. And I think that they're going to draft Malik Neighbors from LSU. And now the Giants are also another team that might draft a quarterback. They might be done with Daniel Jones, but I don't think they're going to be done with him just yet. I think they're going to try to improve the offensive line by drafting Joe Alt from Notre Dame. Now the Titans are also in a weird situation too. You know, they got a couple of really good wide receivers like DeAndre Hopkins and they just signed Calvin Ridley, but I don't know why uh, pro football focus has wide receiver as number one need but i do think they need offensive help and i think they're going to end up drafting a tackle from oregon state talise fuoga i am going to be butchering these names so give me a now the falcons you know they did a lot this free agency by adding a couple wide receivers and of course drafting not drafting signing kirk cousins and i think the falcons are in a really good spot but when it comes to the draft, I think they're going to draft defensive players. And they could draft defensive backs like a cornerback, you know, besides AJ Terrell. But I think they're going to try to beef up that D-line by drafting Byron Murphy the second. Now, I could be pushing this pick, but like I said, you know, I this can be completely random. So, just give me a break. And now, when it comes to the Bears, of course, they just drafted Caleb Williams. And I think that their wide receivers are in a really good spot. And I think that they're probably going to end up drafting a tackle or a wide receiver. Um, it would make sense for more uh, offensive linemen, but, you know, the Bears are weird. And when it comes to the draft, you know, sometimes their picks are not that good. But I do think that they get a really good number three wide receiver like Roma Dunze. Um, I think their offense would be really, really good. So they need to draft the wide receiver, Rome Adunze. Now the Jets actually have had, um, have had pretty good offseason as well, you know, trading for or signing. Um, Tyron Smith, uh, the left tackle, then trading for Morgan Moses. So they really beefed up that O-line. But their older offensive linemen, I think that they're going to still end up drafting offensive linemen. So I think Troy Fontenu from Washington will be going to the Jets. And now the Vikings, I do think they're going to end up trading up in this draft realistically. But like I said a couple of times, I'm not doing trades in this video. So I do think they will be drafting the quarterback for sure. And I think J.J. McCarthy 
It's a clear-cut choice for the Minnesota Vikings. Now, when it comes to the Broncos, you know, four of the quarterbacks already just got drafted in this draft, and I can also see the Broncos trading up too, just like the Vikings in this uh, draft. And I really do think that they're going to be needing a quarterback, even if these four quarterbacks are going off the board already. So I think that the worst case scenario for the Broncos is they're going to draft Bo Nix from Oregon. And now the Raiders are also another team that might end up drafting a quarterback this year, even though they just signed Gardner Minshew. Uh, most likely going to be the starter, but I don't know what's their particular needs in quarterback, if they're going to draft one immediately or maybe later on in the draft. But I do think that they're going to try to get the best player available. And Brock Bowers is actually a pretty good fit because their tight ends are not too good. Now, the Saints are in a weird situation, too. You know, of course, they're, you know, they just lost a couple of players. And um, they actually just got Chase Young in free agency. And I think that their D line is in pretty good shape. They might need secondary help, but I don't think they're going to target secondary just yet. I think they're going to go for a, you know, a big guy in the defensive line, Jazar Newton from Illinois. I think they're going to try to beef up that D-line as much as they can to make it as strong as they can. Now, it's actually weird is that in my last mock draft for the NFL um, 1.0, I had Cooper DeGean going to the Colts, and I actually still got the same thing. The Colts, you know, really didn't do too much in free agency. They just signed or re-signed a few of their players, and I think that Cooper DeGean is still a really good uh, cornerback, but he's uh, he's tending, you know, he's having a tendency of falling in the draft. But I still think he's gonna go about mid round, so I think Cooper DeGene will go to the Colts. And now the Seahawks are on in another uh, another position where they lost a couple of players on the defensive side, like Jamal Adams and Bobby Wagner. Um, so they're gonna be definitely drafting defensive players in this first round, and it could be either an edge rusher, safety, cornerback, whatever. But I do think they're gonna end up drafting an edge rusher. Uh, Dallas Turner from Alabama will be going to Seattle. Now, the Jags are in another weird situation when it comes to the offensive line because their offensive line is not that strong. They have like one good player, maybe two, on that offensive line. But I think they're going to end up drafting defensive players first. And I think that Quinn Mitchell, the cornerback from Toledo, will be going to Jacksonville. And now the Bengals are also in another good position right now. You know, got Joe Burrow coming back from his injury, and their offense is still really, really good as it is. Even they though they lost Joe Mixon. Um, I still think they're going to be a really good offense, and I think that they're going to try to address the defensive side again by drafting Nate Wiggins from Clemson. And now, I do think the Rams are in a good uh, situation. They did lose just Aaron Donald, which is massive, but um, they actually ended up um, acquiring a couple pieces on free agency, like for the secondary and all that, but I do think they're going to end up drafting the offensive lineman here. I think their O-line is not that good. Um, maybe the tackles are good, but that's about it. Um, so, a loot... Alumia uh, Fashanu from Penn State is going to the Rams. I like I said, I'm gonna be butchering these names. I'm sorry. And now the Steelers have had a pretty good offseason, in my opinion, by adding Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. They got the cornerback from the Panthers. I can't remember his name, top of my head. Dante Jackson. Um, and they didn't they ended up trading Deontay Johnson to the Panthers. But I think they're gonna draft a secondary person, Terrian Arnold from Alabama, will be going to the Steelers. And now the Dolphins, you know, they're in another weird situation too where they lost a couple of defensive players, but they also kind of added a, um, back like Jordan Poyer and another player I can't think of on the top of my head. But I think they're going to try to address the offensive line because they did lose Robert Hunt, dude's a free agency. So I think that Jackson Powers Johnson will be going to Miami. And now the Eagles are in a situation where their offensive line is in, in still in pretty good shape, even though they just lost Jason Kelsey. Their O-line uh, still really good. And they did just got um, the guy from the Jets. I can't think of his name either. I'm ha Oh, Bryce Huff. Uh, the Eagles just added Bryce Huff, uh, the edge rusher. And I think that they're going to end up drafting one. So, uh, like Jared Verse, I think he's a good little fit for the Eagles. Like I said, I know they just got Bryce Huff, but if they can add another beast on the other side, I think this defense is going to be pretty good. And now the Vikings are on the clock again. This is their second pick. Like I said, I do think they're going to be trading one of those picks to move up in the draft. But like I said, no trades. Um, I think they're going to just try to go for the best player available. They could draft offensive linemen, but their O-line's not that bad. So I think the edge rusher, Laitu Latu from UCLA, he's going to Minnesota. And now the Cowboys lost Tyron Smith due to free agency. So I think they're going to immediately draft the offensive lineman, whether it be center, guard, or tackle. And I think that J.C. Latham from Alabama will be going to Dallas. And now the Packers are also most likely going to draft the offensive lineman. And like I said, in my Packers mock draft, um, I can see the Packers drafting a defensive player, but most likely offensive lineman in the first round. I think that Graham Barton 
from Duke will be going to Green Bay. And now I do think that the Bucks are not that bad of a situation because they brought back most of their free agency. Uh, well, they're pending free agents like Mike Evans, you know, Levante David, but they did lose Carlton Davis. They traded him to the Detroit Lions. So I think that they're going to draft someone in the cornerback room. And I think that Kool-Aid McKinstry will be going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And now the Cardinals drafted a wide receiver earlier in the first round. And I think that they're going to try to address the offensive line again, even though it seems like they draft nothing but offensive linemen. And I think that Amarius Mims from Georgia will be going to the Cardinals. And now the Bills are also in another situation where they're most likely just going to draft the offensive lineman because that's their biggest need as of right now. And I think that Tyler Guyton from Oklahoma will be going to the Buffalo Bills. And now the Lions, they're in a weird situation too. They lost a couple of offensive linemen in free agency, but overall, I think they addressed the defensive side pretty well um, so far this you know free agency. And I think that they're going to end up drafting someone in the offensive line room. And I think that Zach Frazier from West Virginia, even though they got a good center right now, they might convert him to right guard or right um, right tackle, whatever. I think that they're going to draft the best offensive lineman available, Zach Frazier from West Virginia. And now for some reason, you know, the Ravens, they did lose Patrick Queen to the Steelers. Um, and their team is in pretty good shape. They don't need really anybody on the offensive side. Maybe offensive linemen because they uh, they just lost Morgan Moses. But most of these offensive linemen, they're already off the building. And, you know, these linebackers are not that good in this draft. But I think they're going to draft the best one available, Peyton Willis from North Carolina State. He's going to Baltimore. And now when it comes to the 49ers, they're a pretty stacked team as it is already. And, you know, they lost a couple pieces in the defensive line. But they're still a really, really good team. If anything, they might need help in the secondary. So I think that C uh, TJ Tampa from Iowa State will be going to the San Francisco 49ers. And the last but not least, the Kansas City Chiefs, the Super Bowl winners of last year and the year prior, their team stacked as it is. And they added... Um, uh, Hollywood Brown, do, uh, you know, they signed him in free agency, and I think that they're going to even draft another wide receiver for some reason. I think they're going to let go a couple more people. Um, so I think that the best wide receiver available, Brian Thomas Jr. from LSU, will be going to the Kansas City Chiefs. And let's see my grade for the draft. Will it give me a grade? Oh, no, it, it don't give me a freaking grade, whatever. But that wraps up this video. You know, let me know down in the comments what you think of my picks. I know they're crazy. I'm probably going to get like 15% of these picks right. So give me a freaking break, okay? I can't be perfect in everything. But like I said, like the video, hit that, you know, like button, you know, comment down below your craziest opinion, you know, whatever. And I'm out of here. Deuces.